if even just one case of a near-death experience um, has occurred where there really was no brain activity, it, it, it seems like even that one case would be a real problem for the view that the mind and the brain are just the same. Yes, I think that even just one genuine experience such as these is enough to call physicalism into question. Mm. Um, because if we are just our brains, which is what a lot of people think, yeah. um, then when the brain dies, that ought to be the end of consciousness and that ought to be 100% the case every time. Right. Um, no exceptions. No exceptions. Physicalism has no way to make sense of near-death experiences if indeed they are genuine. Yeah. However, if, if there's more to this world than just the physical and if God exists... Um, then we live in a world that is both physical and non-physical. Mm -hmm. And therefore, even though we don't have all of our questions answered about them, we have a framework for making sense of them because the death of the body and brain is not the end of human consciousness. It's not mm -hmm. the end of human existence. 